Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin puree. I'll be sharing two ways to make homemade pumpkin puree and I also show you how to roast the seeds so nothing goes to waste. Homemade pumpkin puree is a great source of vitamins, minerals and can be stored in the freezer for a long time so you can make your favorite pumpkin dishes all year around. To make sweet and flavorful pumpkin puree it's best to use pumpkins that are labeled sugar pumpkins or pie pumpkins. Start by washing and drying the pumpkin. Then using a sharp knife cut off the stem and cut the pumpkin in half. Scoop out the pumpkin seeds into a bowl using a spoon and save the seeds for roasting later. Now the pumpkin is ready for cooking. The first way to make pumpkin puree is to roast the pumpkin. Place the pumpkin half cut side down on a prepared baking sheet. Roast and cover it at 400 degrees for approximately 40 to 50 minutes or until tender. Time of roasting will vary depending on the size of your pumpkin. Check the readiness of the pumpkin by sticking a knife in it. If it's going in and out with no resistance, it's ready. Let it cool and pull the skin off the pumpkin. Slice the pumpkin into big chunks and toss it into a food processor or blender. When it's all done, you will have a beautiful and creamy pumpkin puree. The second way to make pumpkin puree is to cook it in a saucepan. Peel the pumpkin skin using a big knife. Next, chop the pumpkin into small pieces. Place the pumpkin chunks into a saucepan. Add one third of a cup of water. Cover with the lid and bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat and continue to cook until tender, stirring from time to time. If the water has evaporated but the pumpkin didn't cook through, add more water and keep cooking. Check the readiness of the pumpkin with a fork. Transfer the cooked pumpkin into a bowl and let it cool. While the pumpkin is cooling down, let's prepare the pumpkin seeds. Cover the seeds with water, then wash and remove any pulp left on the seeds. Strain them through a sieve and dump them out on a dry towel. Spread them out and air dry overnight. When the pumpkin seeds are dry completely, Add a teaspoon of olive oil and a pinch of salt. Mix well so all the pumpkin seeds are coated in seasoning. 
You can also add different spices or cinnamon and sugar, but I like to keep it plain. Lay the seeds out on a baking sheet, spreading them evenly and roast at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. Pumpkin seeds are a great source of vitamins and fiber and make an excellent snack or topping for your favorite soups, toasts, pizzas, salads and more. When the cooked pumpkin has cooled down, mash it with a fork to a puree consistency. Of course, you can use a blender or food processor like with roasted pumpkin. But this time I wanted to show you that you can make homemade pumpkin puree without kitchen gadgets. If you like pumpkin puree with a smooth consistency, rub it through a sieve in a small batches. Healthy and delicious pumpkin puree is ready for use. Place unused puree in a glass or plastic container and refrigerate for up to 5 days. To freeze pumpkin puree, just put the fresh pumpkin puree in a freezer safe container or plastic bag and store in the freezer for up to 5 months. I really hope that my video is useful to you and inspire you to make homemade pumpkin puree. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.